Welcome back, sports fans, to Game 2 of the 1975 World Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. Cincinnati won Game 1 of our uh, World Series replay by a score of 10 to 1, so they are leading in the series 1 to nothing. In real life, Game 2, the Reds took the game 3 to 2 to even the series. So, can Boston come back and even the series today, or will the Reds go up 2 nothing as they head to Riverfront Stadium? This time we're going to do something a little fun. Somewhere in this video, there's going to be an, an image from the 1975 World Series that pops up for about a second. I don't know where it is yet, but you have to watch all the way through. And if you can tell me where that image shows up in the comments below, put down the time and I will pin your comment. So make sure you watch all the way through. Watch that image and leave a comment down at the bottom. And if you're the first one to find it, I will pin you. Anyway, let's go ahead and go down to the field, check out our starting lineups here at Fenway, and get this game started. For the lineups for your Cincinnati Reds, leading off playing third base will be Pete Rose. At second base will be Joe Morgan. Batting third behind the plate will be Johnny Bench. Batting cleanup at first base will be Tony Perez. In left field, George Foster. Shortstop will be manned by Davey Concepcion. In right field, Ken Griffey hoping to have a better day than he did yesterday. Center field, Cesar Geronimo. And on the mound today for the Reds will be Jack Billingham. For the Boston Red Sox, leading off playing first base will be Cecil Cooper. Second base will be Denny Doyle. At first will be Carl Yastrzemski batting cleanup. And behind the plate will be Carlton Fisk. Center field will be Fred Lynn. At third base will be Rico Petroselli. In right field, Dwight Evans. Shortstop today will be played by Rick Burleson. And on the mound for the game today will be Bill Lee. Our umpires for today's game behind the plate will be Nick Colossi. First base will be Larry Barnett. Second base will be Dick Stello. And third base will be George Maloney. Out in left field will be Satch Davidson. And out in right field will be Art France. Today, the Reds are semi-harmony, and Boston is semi-dissonant. So let's see how uh, team chemistry plays into today's game as we go get ready for the first pitch. Pete Rose stepping up to the plate. 1-1-3. One, one, pitcher ace or dynamic? No. Batter a slugger? No. And that's going to be a single to center field, so leadoff base hit for Pete Rose to get this one started. He had a hot day yesterday at the plate. Drove in a few runs, had a home run, and he looks to carry on that today as Joe Morgan steps up to the plate. 2-5-6 is the pitcher a struggler. No. Batter champion or patient. He is patient, and he's going to draw a walk. So already the Reds have men on the bases still with no outs here as the catcher Johnny Bench comes up to the plate. 5-5-6 five, five, is the pitcher ace. No is the batter a sad sack. No he is not. That's going to be a double to right field. Joe Morgan is active and he is going to score. So Johnny Bench with a two run double there. And quickly Bill Lee it's a semi-struggler until he gets an out. So already the Reds imposing their will once again as they go up quickly two to nothing, still with no outs here in the first inning. First baseman Tony Perez, one, two, three. The pitcher is not flash. He is fresh, so that's just gonna be a ground out to the shortstop for the first out. Johnny Bench will hold at second base there. George Foster comes up to the plate next. One out here in the top of the first inning. Two, three, four. We have a runner on base. We'll go to the plate drama check. Four, six is the catcher iron. That is just uh, Carlton Fisk, and I, I don't think he is. No. So, four, six. Batter lets a fastball go by for a strike, and we're going to go to an umpire check with a runner on second base here. 
one, two. Do we have a strict umpire at second base? Dix Dello is strict. Rules the runner is out at second base. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, I was looking on the runner on first. Runner on second chart, one, two. Strict umpire at second base, yes. Rules the batter is out at second base, trying to stretch a double, and runner scores in both cases. So Foster is gonna hit a single, which is gonna score a bench for the third round of the game, and then he will be out on the tag at second base. So three to nothing Reds with two outs here in the top of the first. That'll bring up the shortstop, Davey Concepcion. 1-5-6, is he a whiffer? No, he is not. That'll be an outfield drama check. 2-6, we are going to look at the center fielder, Fred Lynn. Is he stoic? No, he is not. So that means he's probably going to get to the play and make the out. So the Reds up quickly, three to nothing here in Boston as we go to the bottom of the first inning and leading off for the Boston Red Sox will be first baseman Cecil Cooper, lower in the lineup yesterday, but you got the leadoff spot today, one, three, four. Do we have a gold catcher? We're going to look at Johnny Bench. He is semi-gold. The desired eye says yes, he is, and that is going to be a strikeout. We're out number one as the second baseman Denny Doyle comes up to the plate. 255. Is the pitcher star? No. Is the batter home run king? No. And that's going to be a fly out to center field. We're out number two. Pitchers don't have as many uh, attributes as the ones yesterday. Both of them, Jack Billingham is semi control and Bill Lee is full control. So Carl Yastrzemski who is in left field today, will be up at the plate. One, four, five, is the pitcher struggler? No, and he's gonna ground out to the first baseman, Perez, for out number three. So the Red Sox go down quietly. One, two, three, as we go to the top of the second. Reds up three to nothing already. Ken Grippy steps up to the plate, hoping to erase his bad day from yesterday. 155, is he a home run king? No, and he will fly out to center field for out number one. So the woes continue for Griffey as Cesar Geronimo comes up to the plate playing center field today. 225, is the pitcher star? No, is batter slugger or a sad sack? He is not. That's going to be a single to center field for Cesar Geronimo as Jack Billingham comes up to the plate. He's going to try to sacrifice, and he gets it. As Geronimo moves on to second, Pete Rose comes up for the second time today already with a single and a run scored. 2 4 4. Pitcher ace, no. Batter champion, no. And he is going to ground out to the shortstop to end the second inning for the Reds. Reds get one in scoring position and can't bring him in to extend their lead. We'll go to the bottom of the second inning. Carlton Fisk comes up to the plate to lead off the bottom of the second for Boston. 2-4-4, four, four. pitcher ace, no, is batter a champion. Desired Eye says he is, and he's going to slap, smack a single to center field. So Boston gets their first base runner on for the day as the center fielder Fred Lynn comes up to the plate. 1-4-5, is the pitcher struggler? No, that's going to be a ground out. That's going to lead into a double play. He's going to hit to the third baseman for 5-4-3. Double play, and there are quickly two outs in the inning as Rico Petroselli comes up to the plate. 5-6-6, six, six. is the pitcher wild? No, good eye? No, that's going to be a strikeout for out number three. Boston gets a man on. Quickly gets out as we go to the top of the third inning. Joe Morgan comes up for the second time today. Drew Walk his first time up and later scored. So he's going to lead off the top of the third inning here for the Cincinnati Reds. 2-3-5. Pitcher wild, no. Batter eager, no. He is patient. He's going to end up grounding out. 
to the first baseman for out number one. Next up would be the catcher, Johnny Bench. Big double back in the first inning to score two runs. Two, three, six. DB controller dynamic, no. Pitcher batting, no. That's going to be a walk for Bench. So he reaches base for the second time today as the first baseman. Tony Perez comes up to the plate, ground out to the shortstop his first time up. One, three, six. Pitcher ace, no. Whiffer or cold, he is a whiffer, and he's going to end up striking out. For out number two. Left fielder George Foster coming up to the plate now. He singled in a run his last time up. One, two, five. Struggler, no. Patient, no. And he is going to strike out as well. So Bill Lee now finally finding his groove. As we go to the bottom of the third inning, Reds up three to nothing. Dwight Evans set to lead us off here in the bottom of the third inning. Five, five, six. Ace, no. Sad sack, no. He's going to hit a double to right field. So Boston quickly gets one on as the shortstop Rick Burleson comes up to the plate, seeing if he can drive in Evans. Three, three, five. Wild, no. Sad sack, no. He's going to hit a single to right field which is going to score Evans. So Boston on the board. And Burleson is going to end up stealing second on the play. So Boston gets another runner in scoring position. That is now 3-1 to one Cincinnati. And the pitcher due up, Bill Lee, he's going to go ahead and try to sacrifice... Burleson over to third base. Ooh, and he actually he's actually gonna reach it on his own. Um so the runners are gonna advance and roll to the cider die for a single or an error. It's gonna end up being a single. So Bill Lee went to sacrifice and moved the runner over, and he actually ended up getting on base himself and still moving the runner over. So big Big play there as we have runners at the corners here with no outs still. And that is three in a row, and Jack Billingham is a semi-struggler at the moment as Cecil Cooper comes up to the plate, struck out his first bat. One, four, five as a pitcher, a struggler. The side eye says no, and that's going to be a ground out to either the first baseman or the third baseman, which if it's either way, it's going to get the runner in from third. And it's going to be a uh, three, six, one double play. So Burleson is going to get in. Lee is going to be out at second. And Cooper will be out. So the Reds give one up, but they'd get two outs there. Billingham loses his semi struggler. And it is now 3-2 to two Boston. Boston coming back now. And two outs here in the bottom of the third inning as the second baseman, Denny Doyle, comes up to the plate. Flew out to the left fielder his first at bat. 1-2-3, flash fresh. No, 6-3. That'll end the inning. But Boston is starting to make a comeback as it is to 3-2 as we head to the top of the fourth inning. Set to lead off the Reds here in the top of the fourth inning will be Davey Concepcion. Flew out to the center fielder his first at bat. 1-1-2, one, one, pitcher flash, no. Sad sack, no. That's going to be a check with the score. That is going to be a base hit off the glove of either the first or third baseman, which doesn't matter right now. Inception is on. He is active. Let's see if he can get a jump here. Active, 3-7. Uh, to seven. He, gets his, he gets a jump against a normal catcher. He needs a three or an eight, and he gets it. So Concepcion will steal second base as right fielder Ken Griffey comes up to the plate over one on the day. Still an over for the whole series. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No. And he stays an over an over as he flies out to the center fielder for out number one. We'll go to a uh, team chemistry check. Cincinnati is semi-harmony. Boston is semi-dissonant. 
five five is the pitching team dissonance the decider die says no so that's going to be a foul out to the catcher for Cesar Geronimo two outs here are the runner on second base as the pitcher Jack Billingham comes up to the plate sacrificed his last at bat two four six control yes and he will ground back to his counterpart for the third out so the Reds get one in scoring position early but can't do anything with him as Bill Lee becomes semi-fresh and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning three to two Cincinnati leading off the bottom of the fourth inning will be the uh, left fielder Carl Yastrzemski grounded out to the third base or first baseman his first at bat 116 fresh strikeout for out number one as catcher Carlton Fisk comes up to the plate, hit a single his last time up. 356, are they the same? Righty righty, that is a strikeout. So two strikeouts for Billingham. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning as a center fielder, Fred Lynn, comes up to the plate, ground out to a double play his first time up. 224. Pitching at home, no. Is he a slugger? He is. That's going to be a double to left field for Fred Lynn as he keeps the inning alive for the third baseman, Rico Petroselli, who struck out his first time up. Here's the pitch. 2-2-3 two, two, is a pitcher wild. No. Slugger or utility. Desired Eye says he is utility. Also says he is a whiffer, and he strikes out again for out number three. So Billingham keeps him off home plate. It is still 3-2 to two as we head to the top of the fifth inning. Jack Billingham is semi-fresh now as Pete Rose is set to lead us off here in the top of the fifth inning for Cincinnati. 2-3-4, the runners on base. No, is this a hot batter? Uh, he grounded out his last at bat, so he is semi-cold, so no. And he's going to pop out to the third baseman for out number one as the second baseman, Joe Morgan, comes up to the plate. 0 for 1 on the day with a walk and a run scored. 2 4 5. Is he, an e is he eager or a sad sack? No. And he's going to draw a walk. An act of steals. So he will steal second base. And Johnny Bench coming up now. He is one for one on the day with a double RBI, a couple RBIs, and a walk. The speedy Joe Morgan out there at second base, one six six is a pitcher workman a gilded no is bench a whiffer he is. And that is a strikeout for out number two. Tony Perez up to the plate now, 0 for 2 on the day. See if he can drive in Morgan from second. Two four five. Is he a hero? The desired eye says yes, that's a single to left field. And that is going to score Morgan from second. As the Reds go up 4-2 to two here in the top of the fourth, fifth inning. Big hit by Perez there as George Foster comes up to the plate next. Oh for, one for two on the day with a strikeout single and an RBI. Perez there at first base. He is stoic. Not going to worry about him trying to steal. 1-4-6. Is pitcher flash? No. Batter champion? No. He's going to ground out to the second baseman to end the fifth inning for the Reds, but they tack on one more. It is four to is 4-2 as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Set to lead off the bottom of the fifth for the Boston Red Sox will be the right fielder Dwight Evans. Had a double and came around to score his first time up. 1-1-4, is the pitcher fresh? The desired eye says no. Is the batter sad sack or patient? He is not, and he's going to single to right field. So two for two on the day as we go to a team chemistry check for the shortstop, Rick Burleson. Burleson singled and later come around to score his first time up as well. 3-5, is the pitching team dissonance? The Reds are not. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. That's just going to be a fielder's choice as Evans is out at second base, Burleson. Reaches first, and the pitcher, Bill Lee, coming up to the plate now. He's going to go to sacrifice. He may get on again. He Nope, this is a sacrifice this time. 
That's going to move the runner into scoring position as the first baseman, Cecil Cooper, comes up to the plate now. Over two on the day. He could, he could get Boston right back into this. A big hit here. One, three, four is the catcher gold. That is Bench. I feel like I've checked him once already. Johnny Bench is semi-gold, so the desire, and the desired eye says no. Is the batter a champion? We'll re-roll for him since he's semi and no. That's going to be an outfield drama check. 3-6. We're going to look at the left fielder is George Foster Stoic. He is semi-stoic. The cider die says yes. So on a 3-6, he is stoic. The ball gets past him for a single, and that's going to score. Let's see. That is going to score. See where I'm at here. Evans is going to come around to score. So a big hit there by Cecil Cooper. Draws Boston closer. It is four to three now. And we go to a team chemistry check for Denny Doyle, who is 0 for 2 on the day. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Score 4 to 3, Cincinnati, but Boston hanging right in there. 1 4 is the batting team dissonance. The decider die says they are. A hesitant swing, and that's going to be a dribbler back to the pitcher to end the fifth inning. But Boston gets back within one run. It's 4 to 3 now as we head to the top of the sixth. And Davy Concepcion set to lead us off here in the top of the sixth inning. Bill Lee still out there. We're going to go ahead and get a couple relievers for both teams warming up, actually. Make sure I didn't use someone from yesterday. Actually, I may have to because there's a lot of starting pitchers in these sets. But Jim Willoughby. And I'm not exactly sure. Okay, Dick Drago is a closer. So Willoughby will be warming up for the Red Sox as the Reds will have, who are they going to have warm up? Pedro Bourbon will be warming up. That's just in case we need him as Davy, Davy Concepcion steps up to the plate. One for two on the day with a single and a stolen base. One, four, six. Is the pitcher flash? No. Is batter champion? No. He's going to ground out to the second baseman for out number one. And Ken Griffey stepping up to the plate, still looking for his first hit of this 1975 World Series. One, three, five. That's a ballpark check. For a lefty, it's a normal. 2-4. Is it a big ballpark for a lefty? No, it is not. And a foul ball, it's uh, otherwise. Foul ball caught by fan near third base. Batter still at the bat. So, Griffey looks out there as a fan reached over and caught the foul ball before... Um, see, so Cooper could get to it, and Griffey gets new life. Two, four, six. Pitcher have control. He does, and that's going to be a ground out back to the pitcher. So Griffey's woes continue, as he is still hitless in this World Series. And Cesar Geronimo will step up to the plate next. One for two on the day. One, three, four is the catcher gold. That is Fisk. I do not believe so. It seems like I got to check him every time. No. So is the batter a champion? No. That's going to be an outfield drama check on Boston. 2 3 is the center fielder Iron. That'll be Fred Lynn. Probably not. No, he is not. He is semi gold. So that's an easy fly out for him. As that puts the Reds down in order, one, two, threes. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Reds still up four to three. Carl Yastrzemski set to lead us off here in the bottom of the sixth inning as we Boston sends up their three, four, five hitters. Two, five, six. Struggler, no. Champion or patient. Sardai says he is patient, and he draws a walk. So could this be the inning? Boston ties it up. As the catcher, Carlton Fisk, comes up to the plate one for two today with a single and a strikeout. 2-4-4. Four, four. 
Pitcher Ace, no. Batter Champion, the Sire Dice says no. And he is going to ground out to the shortstop, which that's going to be a fielder's choice. Yastrzemski will be out at second as Fisk stays on first base and center fielder Fred Lynn comes up to the plate one for two today with a double. Two, three, six. DB controller dynamic, no. Pitcher batting, no. And that's going to be a walk. So that puts runners on first and second here for the third baseman Rico Petroselli. Over two today with two strikeouts. One, one, three. Pitcher Acer, dynamic, no. Is the batter a slugger? No. Is he sad sack or home run king? No. That's a single to center field. Let's see here. If the runner is active, he's going to score from second. That's going to be Fisk. He's probably not active. No. So that's just going to be a uh, single that's going to load the bases up. But that is three in a row without an out. So Billingham in, in trouble here as Dwight Evans comes up to the plate. They're going to give him one more shot to get out of this. Since he is batting next inning, they don't want to waste a pinch hitter if they don't have to. Or waste a pitcher. So Dwight Evans comes up to the plate. He has been on base twice today already. 4-5-5, five, five. it's not going to be a double play. So flash, no. Home run king, no. That's going to be a ground out to the first base, but that's just going to be a 3-1. As Perez had to range, and the pitcher had to come over and get it. That's going to score the runner from third. That's going to move Lynn to third and Petroselli to second. Billingham is going to lose his semi-struggler, but this ball game is tied 4-4 four four with two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. So Rick Burleson's coming up to the plate now. He is 0 for 1 on the day. He's going to try to drive in these two runs here to put Boston up on top. 2-3-4, that's going to be a plate drama check. 3-4, wild pitcher, nope. That pitch is going to curve in for a strike, so we will go to an umpire check for runners on second and third. Ooh, it's getting intense. 2-3, do we have a lenient umpire at third base? George Maloney is semi-lenient. The desired eye says yes, fair ball, base hit, runners advance. Oh my, and who is on second? Petroselli, he is stoic. On a two, I do not believe runners advance. There's only going to be one come in to score. Petroselli is going to hold up at third. He was stoic. But Lynn is going to come in to score. And Boston takes the lead. It may be time to go ahead and shut Billingham down. I think that's what we're going to do. Jack Billingham is going to go out. Five spot. Pedro Bourbon is going to come in here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Red Sox are going to send up a pinch hitter for Bill Lee. And it is going to be, um, see if we have us a lefty here. Bernie Carbo. Carbo is going to come in to pinch hit for Bill Lee. And Bourbon, the star DB control. He's actually not too bad of a hitter. He may go ahead and swing the bat, but he is semi ace for this first at bat against Bernie Carbo. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Two, four, five. Is the he a hero? No, that's going to be a pop out to second base for out number three, but the damage done as the Red Sox take the lead and we go to the top of the seventh inning. All right, top of the seventh inning, Red Sox up five to four 
Pedro Bourbon is going to go ahead and hit, since he's a star in DB control, they want to get at least one more inning out of him. Jim Willoughby has come on to pitch for the Red Sox. And Bourbon set to lead us off here in the top of the seventh inning. 1-4-5 is the pitcher struggler. No, Bourbon is going to ground out to the third baseman for the first out. Next up will be Pete Rose. One for three on the day at the single and a run scored. 2-4-5. Uh, is he a hero? Yes, he is. He's going to single to left field. So a little bit of action here. Top of the seventh is the uh, second baseman, Joe Morgan, comes up to the plate. Two walks today, two runs scored. Three, four, six. Is he eager? He is not. That's going to be a walk. And a team chemistry check at that. So runners at first and second here. Johnny Bench up to the plate. And team chemistry check. Three, four is the batting team harmony. The decider die says yes. Batter waits for his pitch and smacks a single to, to the outfield. Okay, let's see here. We've got Rose on Rose on second. He's stoic. Mo, Morgan is active. Ooh. Uh, oh, I, I like Charlie Hustle, but I think we're going to go ahead and leave the bases loaded for Tony Perez. I was contemplating sending bench or not bench Pete Rose to tie this game up but Tony Perez is up next he had a single and RBI his last at bat bases are loaded here Willoughby is a semi struggler he allowed three in a row without an out so Tony Perez up to the plate big at bat here bases loaded one out top of the seventh inning 166. Is pitcher Workman or Gilded? No. Is the batter a whiffer? The side eye says no. He's gonna ground out to third base on the five, four, three double play. Wow. Oh my goodness. I should have sent Pete. I should have sent him. Oh man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, well, that's baseball. Willoughby is semi-fresh now as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Red Sox up 5-4. First baseman Cecil Cooper set to lead us off. He singled in an RBI last time around. Pedro Bourbon is still on the mound for the Reds. 3-4-5. Iron catcher, no. Good eye, no. That's going to be a strikeout for Bourbon. And we go to a, a, let's see, it was blue, so baseball right now check for Denny Doyle. After the fifth inning, Bourbon is hot. Doyle grounded out his last at bat, so he is full cold. 2-2, two, two. cold pitcher, nope. And that's a line out to the third baseman. We're out number two. And Carl Yastrzemski coming up to the plate, walked his last at bat. 2-2-3. Two, two, is the pitcher wild? No. The batter slugger or utility? The side eye says he is not a slugger. Oh, I kind of wish he was because that is a single to left field. Yaz on base once again for the day as two outs here in the bottom of the seventh inning and Carlton Fisk coming up to the plate reached on the fielder's choice later came around to score his last time around. 2-2-4, two, two, pitching at home, no. Is he a slugger? Yes, he is. That's a double to left field. Let's see here. Uh, runners advance one base on singles, two bases on doubles. If Yaz is active, which he is not, he's going to stop at third. On the two-out double by Carlton Fisk. Oh, no. Here comes Fred Lynn. Walked and later scored his last time up as well. 5-4 here in the bottom of the seventh inning. 2-3-4. That's going to be a plate drama check. Uh, we need to decide or die in case it's a catcher check. 2-4. Wild pitcher? No. That's going to be a high and outside ball, and we're going to go to an umpire check for runners on second and third. 
Feels like we've had this one before. Respected umpire at home. The decided eye says yes. Uh, runner on ruled third. Uh, runner on third ruled out at home. Batter safe, but that's going to be the third out of the inning. So we're going to say Fred Lynn nubbed one off the bat. Yastrzemski was trying to come home. Bourbone got to the ball, flipped it over to bench. And that ended the inning. So good play there by Bourbon and Bench as they keep the Red Sox from adding to their lead. It is five to four Red Sox as we head to the top of the eighth inning. Good, good play there by Bourbon to get to that ball. Red legs are starting to run out of outs. They need to have need to get something going here as George Foster is set to lead off the top of the eighth inning. He is one for three on the day with an RBI. One, three, six. Pitcher and ace. No. Is the batter whiffer or cold? The decided eye says he is not a whiffer. However, he grounded out his last at bat, so he is cold. That is a strike for out number one. And for, your, for you H&B purist out there, I know that's, a, that's your designated hot cold batter but I'm playing uh, I'm not designating hot and cold for these games and I'm just taking using the baseball right now um, way of determining that so that's why he is full cold but here we go one out here in the top of the eighth and Davey Concepcion stepping up to the plate one for three on the day with a stolen base three four five iron catcher no good eye no that's another strikeout as Ken Griffey comes up to the plate and we go to a player or a baseball right now check, we all know he's cold. Jim Willoughby is hot, so it looks to be his advantage. 3-6, cold pitcher, nope. And that's going to be a pop out to the catcher for Griffey. For out number three, Griffey struggling big time. Jim Willoughby is going to end up going out. He is not fresh anymore. Bourbon is out and the Reds here in the bottom of the eighth inning they're gonna have oh I don't want to send Carroll out there we're gonna have oh man we're gonna go ahead and send out the closer just because I don't want to put Tim Carroll out there he's my reliever I didn't want to put okay of course McEnany and Carroll didn't really pitch all that much yesterday. So they shouldn't be worn out. Actually, that's what I'm going to do because I want to save Raleigh. Um, Carroll, actually McEnany. Wait a second. Did I screw up yesterday's game? McEnany pitched for Boston yesterday. <laughs> he, was, he was in the top of the ninth. So either way. Either way, he didn't pitch that much. <laughs> so, oh, that's embarrassing. But anyway, it wouldn't have mattered yesterday anyway. Cincinnati decided to loan one of their pitchers to Boston yesterday in the top of the ninth in that blowout just so they didn't have to use any more of their bullpen arms. Bourbon went... One and a third, yes. All right, let's go ahead and switch our score up here, or our inning. <laughs> I was about to put McEnany out for the Reds. I was like, wait a minute, he pitched yesterday. He must have swapped uniforms. All right, here we go. Back on track here. Will McEnany is on the mound for the Reds. He is going to face Rico Petroselli leading off the bottom of the eighth inning. Petroselli is one for three on the day with two strikeouts. Three, four, six. Is he eager? Nope. He's going to draw a walk, and that's going to go to a team chemistry check. So McEnany with the leadoff walk. That's definitely not good at this point in the game, down one. Team chemistry check for Dwight Evans. 
He was two for three on the day. Two five. Is the pitching team dissonance? No, they are not. And that's going to be a fly out to the right fielder for out number one. And the shortstop, Rick Burleson, coming up to the plate. Two for three on the day. Runner at first here. Boston up 5-4 in the bottom of the eighth inning. Ooh, 1-2-4. Does the pitcher have control? Yes, he does. That's going to be a 6-4-3 ground out to end the bottom of the eighth inning. Big double play there. As McEnany is semi-fresh, just in case he comes out in the bottom of the ninth inning. Jim Willoughby's day is done. Boston is going to send out their closer, Dick Drago. Here in the bottom of the ninth inning, he is semi-flash, so... So... Here we go, top of the ninth inning. Boston leading 5-4. to four. Reds need a couple runs here, at least one to keep this game going. And Cesar Geronimo will be leading us off. Here in the top of the ninth, so here we go. 4-4-6, four, four, star? No, is batter sad sack utility or patient? No, and he's going to single to right field. And then we go to a player experience check which a pinch hitter is going to be coming up anyway. Drago is a righty, so we're going to want a lefty. And I'm not looking at the player experience. Just to, So I've either got Terry Crowley, who is a blank star, Daryl Chaney, blank star, switch hitter, or Dan Dreesen, lefty, blank star. Dreesen is going to go ahead and come on out and pinch hit again. He pinched hit in yesterday's game, and see, he's a hero slugger patient, and he's actually semi-prospect for this player experience check. I'm actually, um, I, I would do a sacrifice bunt here. Actually, should I just leave the pitcher in and sacrifice, or let Dreesen swing away? You know what? He's swinging away. We need to get Geronimo, move him over. Ah, of course, sacrifice to do the same as well. All right, here we go here. Decider die. Dot, McEnany hits. Blank, Dreesen hits. Ah, Dreesen's going to hit. All right, here we go. Player experience check. Five, six, icon pitcher. Decider die says no. That's an infield drama check. As long as we don't get a one here, Dreesen, ground into a double play, 2-2. Two, two. Is the pitcher gold? No, he is not. Ball's fumbled, batter safe at first on the air. And then we go to another player experience check. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. And then, of course, Dreesen is on base. Pete Rose, ooh, icon batter. Here we go, boys. First and second here, still with nobody out. Pete Rose, full icon, player experience. Boston is cheering hard for Drago. 2-5. Icon batter, yes, anticipates a pitch, drops a single past the shortstop. That's a 2. Um, Geronimo is not active or stoic, but that field is... Left field fence is kind of short in, so even though the ball got passed, um, Geronimo hesitated a little bit. And, sorry, it's hard to talk and kind of explain things at the same time. But, uh, Geronimo couldn't get his jump. Left fielder was in because of the short porch, so he's not going to attempt it. Because we have bases loaded now with and still nobody out. Drago becomes a semi-struggler until he gets an out. And Joe Morgan comes up to the plate. Um, three walks today. Heck, he'll take a fourth right now. As bases are juiced here still with nobody out. 2-2-5. Two, two, is the pitcher star? No. Is the batter slugger or a sad sack? The cider die says he is a slugger. That's a pop out to right field. 
Active runner on third scores on flyouts. Others hold. Geronimo is not. Oh my gosh. So Geronimo is going to hold. And Joe Morgan goes back to the bench as Johnny Bench comes up to the plate. Drago is no longer a semi struggler. Base is loaded here with one out. Johnny Bench up to the plate. He is two for three on the day. So. Had two RBIs back in the first inning. We'll take two more here. Just not a one. Just uh oh. One, four, five. Is the pitcher struggler? Not anymore. And ladies and gentlemen, this ball game is over as bench grounds into a five, four, three double play. Holy cow. Holy cow. Bases loaded, nobody out. Morgan flies out, bench, game ending, double play. Boston evens this series by a score of five to four. Uh, Bill Lee is your winning pitcher. Jack Billingham is the, takes the loss and Drago takes the save. Whew. That was a little intense there for a little bit. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed game two of this 1975 World Series replay between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox. If you guys caught the image somewhere in the video, make sure you comment down at the bottom where that was, and I will pin your comment at the top. So, folks, until next time, I really appreciate you guys watching and the comments from the other day about um, these videos coming back up really means a lot to me. So I really hope you guys enjoy them. We can, we can grow this channel. I need to reach uh, AFR Steve and and uh, many play games. They're up in the thousands, I think. So help me out, guys. Let's get up here. Share this video. Comment, like, tell all your friends, tell your family, tell your parents, tell your significant other. I need all the help I can get. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you for watching. Have a good day.